so many things I want, but not going to buy right away because you guys know if you watch my channel, I've been trying to be really intentional with my spending because we don't want to waste money and buy things that we will not use in the long run. So today's video is going to be my current wish list, which has, you know, some of it has evolved and changed. And then some of the stuff is still carried over from like a year ago or beginning of the year. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys because I want to know what you guys think about some of these items and your thoughts on if you have them, if you think they're good, should I get them? Things like that. My name is Jenny and thank you so much for stopping by. This channel is all about handbags. We do unboxings, reviews, comparisons, things like that. If you love handbags or love talking about handbags, then please consider subscribing. If you're not following me on Instagram, please come by, say hello. And with that said, I'm so excited to be sharing my luxury wish list at this moment. So I'm calling this my fall wish list 2022 because you guys know it changes. And I feel like the more I think about something, a lot of times those items kind of like disappear. I just don't want them anymore. So that's the goal because hopefully if I think about it long enough and realize that that bag's not for me, I don't have to spend so much. So let's just <laughs> get into it. Okay. Now I think this one might've been either on the last wish list or maybe it was from last year, but it is this one. It is the Celine Tring Off bag in leather in the black and gold version. And I want it, I used to want it in the medium size. Now I want it in the small size, which I believe on the website is the Celine Triumph teen shoulder bag or not shoulder bag, crossbody bag. Um, that's the one that I have my eye on. And a long time ago, I did try on the medium one and I've realized now today that I just don't carry that much. So a lot of my more medium sized, larger bags I use on like days I need to carry more, but on a day to day, I actually find myself not picking it up because I'm like, oh, it's so heavy. I don't want to have to wear it, deal with it. So with that said, it's actually a great thing because I can spend a little bit less. A lot of times like smaller bags cost a little bit less. In this case, it's the, <laughs> the difference is so small, but still a little bit less. Um, now Celine had, since I wanted this bag, I think Celine had three increases. Isn't that crazy? Cause the first time I wanted it, I think it was like low three thousands, which I thought it was a lot already. And now I think the bag is like heading towards like the fours. So I'm not sure if it's worth it. I still don't know, but I do know that I'm like loving Celine. I've been loving Celine bags for a while. Like the new designs, I know it's not for everyone, but for me, I love the trim off look. So I feel like it really matches my style. It's a little bit classic, a little bit subtle, but a little bit also like, what's the word I'm looking for? Also a little bit elevated. So I think with that being combined into one bag, I do feel like it's a bag that I could actually see myself using in the long run. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I need to go look at the small one because the big one fits a pretty good amount. It has like dividers inside. I love the simplicity. I, there's a couple of things I wish it did have. I wish it had a back pocket, like the pochette Matisse. I wish it had thicker straps. But other than that, like I really do love the bags. So let me know what you think. Or if you have it, do you think it's worth it? Second bag is by no surprise, if you guys watched my last video on if I could keep one bag in my collection forever, it would be obviously my Fendi baguette. I've always said it, I have never changed my mind. I'm very dedicated. I love the Fendi baguette. I'm not actually surprised I don't have more, but I mean, I've been trying to like buy a variety of bags and not spend money on the same type. However, the baguette is what I'll make an exception for. I just love it so much. Um, but you know that I have the fabric, which it's okay, but I don't think it's like the most durable. Napa leather would be a lot better. And to be honest, like I love the Fendi Napa leather, but I want it in this beautiful mint green color. My reason for holding out though is to figure out if that mint green color is something that I will love forever because I love it now and I've been obsessed with greens of all shades but I need to make sure that I'm okay with green in the long run because you guys know I love 
lilac on this channel. Everything I've been purchasing, well, not everything, but a lot of things I pick up is lilac. Um, but not that not to say I don't love it anymore, but it's kind of like shifted now to green. So I just want to make sure that that's going to be a forever like color for me. But I do think that it's a neutral pastel where with my outfits, it'll match perfectly with a, most of the things I wear. So I'm not really worried about that. I just want to make sure I don't get sick of the color because you guys know I get scared of adding in like the pastels and stuff um, with the fear that I'm not going to use it. And I usually buy like fun colors and more like the contemporary side versus like the designer side. Okay, now the next one might come as a surprise. So you guys know I have the saddle over here and I have a love-hate relationship with the saddle. Like I love it and I have no regrets on getting it. Like to this day, I'm so glad I picked it up. But it's not like the most functional bag, but I think... I don't, yeah, like I like the size, but now I want a mini because I feel like the reason why I love the saddle is not for the functionality, it's for the look. So the mini, I actually think will be easier to get in and out of because it's smaller. And yes, I know it doesn't fit a phone. Yes, I know it doesn't fit anything, but I would just carry like a little card wallet, a lip gloss, maybe like my car, obviously my key fob, like maybe a small like perfume or something like that and then call it a day but I like I said I've been obsessed with green I love this like sage pistachio color over here and now the saddle comes with the little strap um which I think is a game changer because you don't have to buy the strap for like 12 1300 dollars Although I do still love the Dior statement strap a lot more, but I still think this is a better buy. Um, and with my strap, I can actually use it on other Dior bags too. So I'm thinking about adding this one. The only thing is the price, right? Because that mini saddle is almost the same price as the medium. And the size is like double the size I think the medium is. That's the only thing, but I really love the little mini. I think it's so cute. I'm still maybe considering it. Uh, but like I mentioned in my last video, I would see if I can either get it for less or pre-loved. Um, or if I'm like going to Europe or any time, I would wait and get it then. I don't know if it's worth it for me to get it here. Because I just think that the cost is a lot. And I'm, I do think the material and everything on the Dior is really nice and luxe. But again, like that price point is pretty steep. I think it's like... Yeah, like 3000 with tax. It's probably like closer to like the high threes, which is a lot for a little mini bag like that. But how cute. And I think they, I mean, this is a seasonal color. They have other colors too, but I just love the mini. I think I would actually get more use of the mini, unfortunately, than the medium. However, like I still think the medium is a better investment. The next one is a Prada bag. Now, I've never talked about this one before. So I actually saw this bag on Alyssa Lenore's last video or maybe like a couple videos ago, her more recent one. And she showed um, her items she picked up when she went to Europe. And she picked up this Parada. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, screenshot, I need to have this bag. It, it reminds me, I don't think it's a Clio. I know the Clio, there's a lot of different colors and styles and things like that. But I think this one is similar to that, but not the Clio because it has more of a like a bottom. But I love this like glossy black leather with the gold hardware, like so gorgeous. I actually think this is only something they have in Europe because I immediately went to Prada to look at it. And I did not see it in store. Um, I didn't get a chance to ask like my essay or anything, but I'm pretty sure they don't have this one in the States which is a bummer. I mean, it's good and bad. Good because I don't need to spend on it, but sad because I actually want to buy it too. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's adorable though. Like I just love the like, I, you know, I like cross bodies more so than shoulder bags, but this shoulder bag is the perfect shoulder bag because the arm drop looks perfect. And I love how like flat it is and it can like sit like really like snug under your shoulders and I because I haven't seen the bag I don't know how much it will fit it doesn't look like it fits that much but for me because I don't carry that much I think it'll be like the perfect size so if you guys seen this 
in stores, please comment below. Let me know how I can find it. I love, love that one. Or have you seen it on any other sites too? How gorgeous though, right? The gold, everything like gold just really pops against a good like black leather bag. And it, to me, it's like so classic Prada. I love it. Now that is one actually like I would say is like closer to top of my wish list. Okay, now the next one is actually more on the contemporary side. And these are bags that I'm pretty sure I am gonna get at some point. And you guys know I love Pauline, right? Pauline bags have really just been there, you know? Like it's, I don't want it to get popular, to be honest, because I don't want it to be, and no offense to like, and you know I love contemporary brands, right? No offense to like the Tory Burchess and the Marc Jacobs, but you know, like right now, I think if you are bag lovers or you really know your brands, like Pauline is still something that is not like universal with everyone, right? If you know, you know, but not everybody knows. And I love that, right? Because it's classy, it, the material is so well made and the price point is really nice for what you're getting. So to me, like, I love the brand, but you know, once, if you look at brands like Tory Burch and stuff, you kind of see it everywhere. What it's totally fine. Like I have Tory Burch bags too, but it just kind of takes away like some of the like specialty about the bag. So right now, like I love it so much and I've been eyeing the, um, numeral, um, 10 bag because I wanted this one a long time ago and I still want it because for me, like, I love the fact that there's two straps so you can make it short, long shoulder, like whatever it is. Right. And I just love like that baguette, like moon shape. And I feel like that bag is like a medium size. So it definitely can fit a good amount. Um, but I've been hesitant in getting it because I haven't really like the beige. I like the beige, but I don't like the smooth leather on the beige. I was thinking about getting like the black and gold one, which that one's a classic. I think it's beautiful. But then again, I have so many, right? I have my Balenciaga one. That's kind of reminds me of that. I have, I mean, like most of my bag most of my bags are black and gold. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna wait. But then recently I saw that they launched this like forest green color. I don't know the exact name, but it's this right here. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. This is the color I've been waiting for because you guys know I'm obsessed with green. But more importantly, this like green for fall is just so perfect. Um, I love the like richness of it and I think it's neutral, but still like stands out, has gold hardware. So I'm definitely going to get this back. I'm more just waiting. So to see if, you know, Black Friday, they're going to be doing any kind of like free shipping. I know they do that every annually, at least they were last couple of years. So um, if they do that again, I'll definitely get on it. Another pulling bag I really want is this one over here. Um, now I didn't know that it came in, it's called wheat, but what it is, is like a pastel yellow. This is the, um, Neuf, is that how you say it? New? I don't exactly, I apologize. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the one in the mini. Now I wasn't like a huge fan of this style bag, but when it came out in the mini, I thought it was so cute. And when it came out in this color, I was like, I want, a, I've been wanting a pastel yellow bag, but again, like. I don't want to spend on the designer price. Like I love the fact that Chanel's coming out with their like yellow classic flap over here. I think it's so cute, but I don't think I can spend $8,000 on a yellow bag, you know, but I can spend, I don't know, like three, 400 USD on a yellow bag. So to me, it's gorgeous. And that is the one, those two are the ones. Oh, and then lastly, also Pauline family, the um, nano size uh, numero un and the green pastel. So all three of those I really want, but again, I'm just kind of waiting for the right moment. Um, but the number 10 is the one I want the most. Another bag I do really love is, again, going riding on the same like color bandwagon with green. I love the sage color at YSL too. So they have like a mini puffer or like the toy size puffer, but in this like green color. And I thought it was so cute. I know I posted this on Instagram and asked you guys what you guys thought. I think a lot of you guys said the color is awful, <laughs> which I get it. Like it's definitely a color that you would need to like, but although it's on the list, it's more on the bottom because I think that this color isn't like the perfect green. I do really like it, but I do think that this color eventually I'll get really bored of. So 
it's like, do I want to invest like two, $2,000 on a bag? Probably not, but I still think like this one is so good. So if this color is for you, like it's so cute against the gold hardware. Okay, last on the list is kind of a random one, um, but it is the Chanel Camellia wallet. Now, the long wallet. You guys might ask like, why do you want that? Well, the reason mainly because I want to make that into like a DIY and then turn that into like a wallet on chain. I've been using this, oh my gosh, I really clashed right now, but I've been using this uh, Burberry wallet because you guys know like I really want to try using the things I never gravitate towards and I haven't used this wallet in like decades and I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to use it. So. I'm gonna make this like an errand bag. So I literally just put on my next fashion chain, like right here, like that. And then have it like this. And then basically I can put my cars and stuff in here. And then this side, I put in like my lipstick, chapstick, and key fob, AirPods. And this side, I put in my cash and cards. I know it like the wallet itself is not honestly not the cutest, but it is something that I want to use because I feel like it's a waste if I don't. Um, and it's been working out so good. To be honest, I love using that because it's just so easy, but I want a nicer one. So I love, I always wanted the Camellia um, design. They don't have it anymore, at least not like the vintage ones like over here. Um, but I actually saw like a couple, I think on Fashion File, just not the right colors. But I want one in black and gold because I think if I were to like add like a chain, like I would add one of these chains or maybe purchase like like a um, something from Amazon and adding D rings to it and then putting on my own. I just think that it will be like the perfect grab and go walk for me because the wallet on chains at Chanel are extremely expensive. I don't think it's worth it. But more importantly. I don't like the drop length of the chain. Um, it's a little too low. So I just, it's not something that I would want to ever purchase, at least not right now. But if I make my own, I can do it for one third of the cost. And also I just feel like I wouldn't worry about it, you know? So that is something that I am going to do. I just need to find the right one. If you guys see it, anything like that on um, online or in stores. I mean, let me know because I am looking to purchase one. <laughs> um, that is pretty much it. This is my list. I think I had, yeah, like almost like 10 things I want, <laughs> but again, the goal I think moving forward is to be intentional. You know, like I think that we work hard. So it's important to, you know, get things, that make us happy but at the same time it's important to be responsible so i just want to make sure i'm buying things that i'm going to be using therefore i want to really think about it really think about functionality and like style is this something i'm going to be loving a year from now two years from now and before i make that purchase um, so that is kind of my thing. But if you guys have any of these bags drop me a comment i always want to know and get your thoughts because sometimes you guys will message me and say do not get that bag. I have it and I absolutely hate it for these reasons. And it really helps me because maybe it's something that I'm not aware of. Um, lastly, I do want to announce I'm going to be doing my first YouTube live sale, which I've honestly never done. I've done like Instagram live sales every now and then, but I've never done like a YouTube one which kind of makes me a little nervous, the live sales, right? So if you guys are interested, can you drop me a comment and let me know if you guys would number one, watch, number two, be interested in purchasing. I have so many like good bags, both designer and contemporary that I've literally like touched only a few times. Um, and in order for me to even look at this wish list, I probably need to get rid of some stuff, <laughs> clear up my closet. And then, you know, I also want to just, be able to find these items a good home if they're just collecting dust on my shelves. So if you guys are interested, please let me know. It will help me so much. And again, I just want to curate stuff that you guys are interested in and you guys would enjoy and be helpful. Um, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.